He's paid now like the best in the game. Is he the best in the game? He should definitely be paid like the best in the game. You look at what he's done the last three years, 20 interceptions, eight in the last two in both seasons, and also the big plays he's made in big-time situations. They understand that when you have a Richard Sherman, there's a guy you can say that side is locked down. Now we can let Cam Chancellor and Earl Thomas roam. Right now, he is the number one corner in the league. Does Darrell Revis return back to form after the knee injury? I don't know. But if he does, he'll be holding out next year for a lot more money because we all know how he feels. Hey, he may be holding out at minicamp right now, <laughs> yeah. saying, until I get Even my money. One and a half million. <laughs> right. An extra one yeah. and a half million. Herm, this guy is a playmaker, and there's no doubt about it. He locks down the right side of opposing offense. He really does, and, and he's playing a... a one of the prime positions now in football. When you think about on defense, you're going to pay a guy that can rush the quarterback. You're going to have to pay a guy that can cover the wide receivers. And on offense, you pay the quarterback and the left tackle. So he fits the mold of what we call the shutdown corner. The guy has great length. He has the ability to play the ball. And just imagine, he goes to Stanford as a wide receiver. So he's, he hadn't played corner all, a, a long time. I mean, he's learning the, the, the tricks of the trade of playing corner. But he's a unique guy. And, and you said it, Ryan. In the big moments, he shows up. In the big moments, he shows up, and he, he's going to cover the best guy. If you line up over there on his side, you got a long day's work. So well-deserved and good for him. You know, it's amazing, too. This was a kid who was a fifth-round pick out of Stanford in 2011, I believe. Yep. And, uh, you know, he was going to make $1.4 million. And it's now quite a pay raise. A little more than that. <laughs> what was the book you had on Sherman coming out of school? <sighs> Late-round pick, uh, switch positions. Tall, a little bit of stiffness, was lean, had to fill out a little bit, didn't know, you know, very football intelligent, had great football intelligence and very competitive, but ran a 4-6-1, 4 uh, in the, in the um, short shuttle, I believe. So not great numbers and just a concern that he was going to ever be able to tr make that transition at the National Football League level. I talked to a scout, interestingly enough, and said, what, what do we all miss on with, with Sherman when we were at the Senior Bowl? And he said, you know... It made me go back and look at my report, and the one thing I wrote in there that kind of stuck with me is just how intelligent he was from a football standpoint. The FBIs, as they call it. Football intelligence. It's, exactly. And he said, I've started to look more into that with these corners because you've got to have the instincts and you've got to be football intelligent. So I, I think that's something we'll see. Everyone's looking for a 6'3 corner. Everyone yeah. wants Stanley Jean Baptiste, Baptiste these, that's not the same here. measurables. It's not necessarily. That helps. Yeah. And certainly the ball skills, both guys former wide receivers, but great football instincts, I think, has been a big part of Richard Sherman's success. And, and Ryan knows this. He played the position. We look at height. We look at speed. Mm -hmm. We look at quickness. That, that's all a part of it. Instincts, obviously, are very important, but angles. Mm -hmm. Understanding angles. This man plays his whole career understanding angles yep. of how you control speeds of wide receivers and when you need to get to certain depths. And, and that's part of that football intelligence that you can't see. You know, you, you, when, you, when you're watching the game and you, you, you watch a guy on tape, these are the things when you have an eye for these kind of guys, you go, this is what he brings to the table. I understand he runs 4 6, but. He can make that receiver run 4-6-2 by the angle he takes and by the body position he creates. He happens to be what I like to call a football, football player, player Jesse. <laughs> oh, yeah, That's what he is. And some guys can play and some guys can't. And he happens to be a guy that can play and he is getting paid.